What do you do outside? Watch a class, go for a run, picnic in the park? During that time, how mindful are you of your surroundings? How well do you know this big mysterious thing we call nature? What do you call this plant? Or this one? In the United States, people are spending less time in contact with nature and more time indoors than ever before. Eco-literacy, or knowledge of nature and natural phenomena, is being lost in developed countries at an alarming rate. Studies have shown that this nature deficit can have serious consequences. Everything from increased rates of obesity and depression, social and developmental delays in children, and even a more cavalier attitude about the destruction of our planet. But how do we, in the digital age, get back to nature? How can we reclaim our eco-literacy, and even our health? For one of my college classes this year, I had to keep a nature journal, and it changed my life. So here's my answer. Turn off the TV, go outside, and start journaling. It's a small thing, just a few minutes out of your day, but it can make a huge difference. So, here are my top five reasons to keep a nature journal. Reason number one. It's easy. You can journal literally anywhere. Just choose a spot that works for you. All you need is a little outdoor space, some plants, and maybe an animal or two. You can keep your journal on paper or even on your smartphone. You can take pictures, which was my favorite part. You might even want to sit down and draw. It's a great activity for kids and parents too. It doesn't take much time either, maybe an hour a week. Reason number two, it's relaxing and all around good for your health. People who spend more time using digital media and less time outdoors experience higher rates of obesity and depression. Those who have more contact with nature experience lower stress levels and stronger social ties. As a college senior, I'm constantly stressed and constantly plugged in. Going outside, taking a moment to breathe, look at green things, and really be mindful of my surroundings made me feel less stressed and consequently more productive. Reason number three. It's educational, and you might learn something new. Did you know that these flowers are edible? Or that they taste like peas? I didn't either. Increasing your eco-literacy can be fun, and there are all kinds of resources to help you learn about the plants and animals in your environment. Reason number four. Keeping a nature journal could increase interest in conservation. You can't love what you don't know. Studies have shown that people who are more familiar with their local environment are more likely to be concerned about local conservation efforts. This is one reason why nature journaling can be a great activity for school children. Teach them to care about nature while they're young. Even things that seem scary might become beautiful if you look at them closely enough. And children who enjoy natural environments are more likely to choose careers in conservation. Reason number five you can help track climate change. Organizations like the National Phenology Network collect observations, like when flowers bloom or when robins return in the spring, from citizen scientists all over the country and use them to track climate change. For example, I help track climate change by submitting my observations to the National Ecological Network's Project Budburst. I'm not saying that keeping a nature journal is going to save the world, but it's a great place to start.